Romantic breakup is a theme that our guest today tackled in one of her hit songs, Cry Me a River. She also sang Canoe Rose, a timeless low that's surely played a role in many budding romances. Victor Laszlo, hello. Thank Hi. you very much for joining us to talk about your new album, Begin the Begin. And on this album, it sounds like you hard can't choose between jazz, pop and Caribbean music. So in which direction does it lean? As a matter of fact, I don't have to choose anymore. And I never really had to choose. I was just following some uh, other people's desire. And uh, now I just decided to deliver something that was truly myself, that is um, pluri, how, how would you say that? I've been so much influenced by different styles of music, uh, by classical music, jazz, country, blues, that all those musics um, were my companions mm -hmm. during all my childhood. Yes, tell us about your, your uh, origins. You, you're both from uh, Caribbeans, from, uh, you lived in Belgium. Yes, I was, so, my mother is Grenadian, so mm -hmm. she's from the English Caribbean, and my father from Martinique. I lived in Belgium. I was uh, in a European school, which means mm -hmm. uh, uh, friends with Italians, Sp Spanish mm. and uh, German people. And it made something uh, very universal uh, of my childhood. And uh, it seems to be very difficult to just focus on one uh, particular kind of, of uh, music and having just one taste. Mm -hmm. That's why this album goes in various directions. So let's listen to, to the track that uh, the album is titled after, Begin the Begin, the Begin being a Caribbean rhythm. Uh, it's a Cole Porter standard to which you've given a great personal touch. So this album is the one of uh, the artistic freedom for you, because before producers uh, tried to put you into a category or... Everybody what? does, <laughs> at a certain point. But uh, yes, you, you had to, uh, in the late 80s, you had to follow uh, fashion. You, you, uh, you always have to uh, be what people expect you to be. I mean, you don't have to, but that's what I was doing, actually. <laughs> I was a little shy of expressing my real self. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so let's uh, listen to a second track for, uh, from your album. Uh, it's a beautiful, uh, melancholic ballad uh, called L'automne et la autumn is here. Je t'en prie, montre-toi, moi son. À mon endroit, faisant feu de tout bois. Sans attendre, ne laissons pas le froid nous surprendre. Je voudrais que tu sois poète tendre, parfois l'automne. As we heard uh, you sing both in French and in English, do these two languages have a different musical colors? Oh yes, definitely, definitely. Uh, French needs um, more words, more sense than English. 
ex there are many uh, English expressions that you can use uh, and that you would use in French and that would sound totally ridiculous. And, um, and people tell me that my voice doesn't sound the same in English and French. I don't know if it's true, but I like singing both. I, uh, songs I, I interpreted in, in French, I would not translate in English because they have their own reason to, be, to, to exist in French and the same goes for, for English. Last quick question. You're also an actress, and it's in fact from the cinema that you got your stage name, Victor Laszlo. Uh, yes. Can you tell us more? Yes, everybody knows Casablanca, the movie with uh, Humphrey Bogart and Ingrid Bergman. Mm -hmm. And there was this guy playing uh, Victor Laszlo. It was an actor called Paul Henride. And uh, Victor Laszlo is um, a guy that's not really present in the, uh, in the, in the movie, but uh, the whole story goes about uh, around him, and it's all mm. about him, and it's all because of him. What happens is because of him. Mm. And he's the guy that gets away with, uh, with the girl. Uh, Lauren Bacall. <laughs> yes. Thank you no. so much, Victor Leslie, for having been our guest today. Uh, begin the Begin is the title of uh, Victor Leslie's new album. See you tomorrow for a new culture magazine.